all today we are going to study schrodinger's equation for a hydrogen atom as we know schrodinger's equation is the fundamental equation in quantum mechanics it is used to study the dynamics of the subatomic particle or microscopic particles or quantum mechanical particles using the concept of quantum mechanics a hydrogen atom consists of a proton and an electron only so you can see here the proton is situated here and the electron is here and the electron is considered to be moving around the stationary proton so the electron is very much lighter around 1836 times lighter than the proton and the electrostatic force of attraction between the proton and electron makes the electron not to escape from the vicinity of the proton we have the schrodinger's time independent or steady state equation minus h cross square by 2m del square psi is equal to e minus v into psi that psi is in the denominator the potential energy in this case is the electrostatic force of attraction between the proton and the electron therefore it is minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r so q1 is e and q2 is minus e so we will get minus e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 r so in this case the potential is a function of r only it is just like a central force problem and also the spherical symmetry is present in this system so we cannot use the r directly this equation 2 directly into the equation 1 as the system has spherical symmetry we can use spherical polar coordinate system the coordinates are r theta and phi r is the radial coordinate which is the distance of the origin from the to the radial distance to the point p the theta is the angle or polar angle the angle between the z axis and the radial radial vector phi is the angle between the x axis and the plane containing r and the x y plane x y in the x y plane we can have the transformation between the cartesian coordinates and the spherical polar coordinates and you can see the relation between the cartesian coordinates and the distance r is root of x square plus y square plus z square and also the polar angle the zenith angle is equal to cos inverse z by r the three coordinates r theta and phi are independent of each other therefore the wave function can also be split into three parts r and function of r function of theta and function of phi so that we will get three quantum numbers for each variable this is what we have studied that is the three coordinates in the spherical polar coordinate system the Schrodinger equation is given by minus h cross square by 2 m del square psi plus u psi r is equal to e psi so accordingly we put this value of psi in this Schrodinger's equation so before that we have to convert the del square in terms of spherical polar system that is dou square by dou r square plus 2 by r dou by dou r plus 1 by r square dou by dou, dou square by dou. and this is the expression for the del square in terms of spherical polar system and after we subs after uh, substituting the value of the del square in the in the Schrodinger's equation we will get 1 by r square dou by dou r r square dou psi by dou r plus 1 by r square sin theta dou by dou theta sin theta dou psi by dou theta plus 1 by r square sin square theta dou square psi by dou phi square plus 2 mu by h cross square in e minus v into psi is equal to 0 because of the spherical symmetry now if we substitute this uh, potential energy and multiply the entire equation by r square sin square theta we obtain this equation 4 that is sin square theta dou by dou r r square dou psi by dou r plus sin theta dou by dou theta sin theta dou psi by dou theta plus dou square psi by dou phi square plus 2 m r square sin square theta plus h cross square e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 r plus e the psi is equal to 0 so this can be you done as an exercise by you by manually you can do this in a paper and you can substitute this uh, values of u or v in the Schrodinger's equation and then you multiply by r square sin square theta you will be getting this uh, expression and I am omitting that exercise 
and you can do that exercise as a self ex a self work and the equation 4 is a partial differential equation for the wave function in a hydrogen of electron in a hydrogen atom and the wave function must obey it should be normal normalizable it derivatives be continuous it should be single valued and r theta and phi must completely specify the behavior of the electron so these are the qualities of the wave function even in terms of the spherical polar coordinates so we must solve the equation 4 for psi and then it turns out that there are three quantum numbers are required to describe the electron in a hydrogen atom in place of a single quantum number of bohr theory since there are three coordinates which are independent there will be three uh, quantum numbers instead of one quantum number in the bohr model the electron's motion is basically one dimensional since the only quantity that varies as it moves in the is its position uh, in a definite orbit one quantum number is enough to specify the state of such an electron this is one quantum number is enough to specify the state of a particle in a one dimensional box so bohr atom model there is only one dimensional electron's motion so the only quantity that varies uh, is as it moves is its position that is in a definite orbit so we have only one quantum number to specify the state of an electron in bohr atom model but in a three dimensional box needs three quantum numbers for this description since there are no three sets of boundary conditions that the particle's wave function must obey the wave function must be zero at the walls of the box and in the x y and z directions independently therefore we have three quantum numbers for a three dimensional particle in a box in the hydrogen atom the electron's motion is restricted by the inverse square free electric field of the nucleus instead of the walls of the box but the electron is nevertheless free to move in the three dimensions and it is accordingly not surprising that three quantum numbers govern its wave function also so we can see here the electron's motion is restricted not by the walls of a box but by the electrostatic field of the nucleus but the electron is not free to move in the three dimensions as it is and it is accordingly not surprising that the three quantum numbers govern its wave function also thank you we will continue with the solution of this equation for schrodinger equation in the next video thank you one and all bye